What's up guys, I'm Colleen and today we need to have a talk. I made a video a while ago called We Need to Talk and I talked about how the world doesn't seem to understand how to have conversations like human beings anymore. You know, back then I was like, yeah, everyone's talking so awkwardly and I don't know how to ha have a conversation, I'm so awkward. And now I'm like, I think no one should talk to me ever. <laughs> I mean this seriously, I love talking to people, I love having conversations with people and getting to know people, but I have recently had some really weird, horrible conversations that I just wish never happened. And I have to reenact them for you because they're so bananas. One is probably the most bizarre fan interaction I've ever had. It was just weird and they thought it was weird too. So I'm not talking ish y'all. They were on the same page as me that it was a weird conversation. But I'll save that one for last because it's definitely the best. Look who came to say hi. Before we get too deep into this video, I want to say thank you so much to Audible for sponsoring this video. As you guys know, I've worked with Audible a lot in the past and I love them so much. They're such a great partner. Summer is basically here and Audible is a great way to make your summer even better. You can listen to an audiobook while you're laying by the pool, while you're road tripping with your friends, while you're hiking or spending time outdoors. Not that I would ever do that, that's disgusting, but a lot of people like being outside and being social. I just stay in with my cats and listen to books. Ow, sorry, I just punched you in the face. And in case you're living under a rock and you have no idea what Audible is, first of all, how is that possible? And second of all, let me tell you about the glory of Audible. Audible content has an unmatched selection of audiobooks, audio shows, news, comedy, and so much more. You can start your 30-day trial today and get your first audiobook free. Hooray, we love free things! If you use my code, audible.com slash Colleen, or Audible got fancy since the last time I did one of these, and now you can text a code, Colleen, to 500-500, and that works the same way, which is super awesome. They are so trendy. Right now, I'm listening to Joey Graceffa's book, Elites of Eden, to prepare myself for his new book coming out, Rebels of Eden, which you guys should all go pre-order if you haven't pre-ordered it yet. Support them YouTubers. So again, use audible.com slash Colleen or text Colleen to 500-500 and you can start your free trial. Audible, thank you again for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate it. I love you guys. All right, on to the weird interactions I've had with other humans in the last week. The first conversation I would like to share with you is one that I definitely think should never have happened. At my household, we have some pets, one of which is a dog. It's Corey's dog, my roommate roommate, best friend, assistant, power human, other half. He has this awesome dog. Sometimes I get to take Moose on walks and there's a dog park that I like to take him to. And the people at dog parks, you don't know anything until you've been to a dog park. I don't know how there's not a TV show about people who go to dog parks. These people are so unique. That's the nicest thing I can say. Don't get me wrong, some people at the dog park are super nice and chatty and friendly and super cute and lovely, and some of them are the opposite of those things. There is something that has happened multiple times at our dog park. The other day, it happened so bad, and it's all about balls. I'm not talking about bouncy ball skits. I'm talking about testicles. So if you're of young age and talking about animal testicles grosses you out, please don't watch this video. Click off now. I can hear you all unsubscribing. But listen, my dog's got testicles. We can't get him fixed yet. We're planning on it. Don't worry. We're getting him fixed, but we're not allowed to get him fixed until he's one year old. That is what our vet told us to do. We're not just making this decision. Our veterinarian said, this is what you need to do. You have to wait till he's one because if you cut him off too early, it can stunt his growth, cause health problems, blah, 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 blah. So we're just following the rules. <clears throat> well, some pet owners do not like that our dog still has his testicles at nine months old. He's literally a baby. And so we have have not made him go through a major surgery to cut off part of his organs, and people are raging angry about it. The other day, this one woman, I couldn't even believe her. Moose is a very sweet, shy, gentle creature. He's scared of everything. He wouldn't hurt a fly. He's the sweetest, kindest, most gentle soul. He doesn't play with the other dogs at the park. He just likes to look at them and smell the grass. Like, he's so sweet. So we're walking him through the park, and all of a sudden, this other dog, about the same size as Moose, runs up to Moose, smells him and starts attacking him. I'm trying to get Moose away from this dog. My sister's there, she's trying. My parents are there, they're trying. We're all trying to get this dog away. We don't know who the dog owner is. Finally, a woman sitting in her little clique in a lawn chair about 20 feet away from us goes, hey, stop. It was clearly her dog who was trying to kill our dog, like viciously trying to kill it. And then this is the conversation we had. That's my dog, is that your dog? Yes. Does your dog have balls? Yes. 
Yes. Well, that's why my dog attacked your dog. My dog always attacks dogs with balls. Why does your dog have balls? He's a baby. He's only nine months. Get the balls chopped off. That's disgusting. You're so disgusting. Why don't you have a brain, you monster? Get your dog's balls chopped off. I don't care if it's firstborn. Otherwise, other dogs are going to try to eat your dog. And guess what? Your dog will deserve it because your dog has balls. And that's disgusting. Balls are disgusting. They're not natural. Get them chopped off. Otherwise, other dogs are going to try to kill your dog. Are you okay, baby? Yanny, are you okay? Did the balls scare you, Yanny? Laurel, shut up. No apology, no like, oh my God, I'm so sorry, my dog just attacked your dog, nothing. It was our fault that we were following the rules of our vet and keeping our pet safe, and you are blaming us that your dog attacked our dog when our dog didn't do anything except for have balls. She also stated that this has happened before. She goes, well, he always does this with dogs with balls. So you know that your dog attacks other dogs. You know you're at a dog park where there's bound to be boy dogs under the age of one who might have balls. And you know that your dog will attack them and you don't care. And you just continue to blame all of the dogs that have genitals. So someone like that lady should not talk. That's just my opinion. I could go on and on about dog parks, so please let me know if you want me to, but for now, I'm gonna go away from dog parks because obviously I get a little bit heated about that. I'm gonna move on to some fan stories. I was going to meet a friend one night and I was looking cute, y'all. I had like done my makeup, my hair, I was wearing a cute little romper, some heels, and I was walking down the street and I felt good. Like I was feeling my oats, I was feeling my weave, I was feeling my everything. I felt like an independent woman. I felt sexy. And so I felt good and I'm walking down the street feeling confident and I'm walking past a bar. There's a guy standing right outside the bar drinking a beer and this is a conversation we had as I walked past him hey hey you yeah let me get a picture of you you creep no wow you're a bit excuse me my friend's a huge fan of you I just wanted a picture of you to send to her jeez oh great cool yeah I wanted a picture but now I don't want one cuz uh you're a bit sorry <laughs> I just thought you were you know um, trying to like you know <laughs> but you weren't you're d okay I'm sorry thank you they, they tell your friend I say hi I'm nice dang it this was definitely one of the most mortifying experiences of my life because I embarrassingly thought he was hitting on me when he most certainly was not. I just felt so good about myself that night that I was like this guy's hitting on me but no one ever hits on me. I should have known that like a good looking guy in a bar was definitely not talking to me. I've literally never been hit on in a bar in my life. So I don't know what came over me that night that I just assumed he was hitting on me. He definitely wasn't. It was really, really embarrassing that I thought he was hitting on me. Um, and he just wanted a picture of me for his friend. So that's really awkward. In that situation, I was really, really embarrassed and uh, I felt like I should never talk again because I go out of my way to make sure I'm super, super nice to you guys when I meet you because you're the reason I have my life. Like you're everything to me, you're, you're my world. And so whenever I get to meet you, I get really, really excited. And so the fact that I was rude to him right away is mortifying to me. But in my defense, he was really rude back. But yeah, he definitely wasn't hitting on me because nobody ever hits on me because I'm <laughs> I wear hats like this, so. Okay, so this is the finale, y'all. I'm real excited to tell you this one. I think this is my favorite fan encounter I've ever had. This this happened just the other day. I, <laughs> I was at a restaurant with my family and I had to go to the bathroom because I'm a human being who pees. I went into the bathroom and there were two stalls and they were both taken. So this is what happened in the bathroom. Obviously I don't have bathroom stalls at my house, so please enjoy this terrible editing. Oh my God, it smells like cum in here. It's me. Oh. Wait, are we the only two people in here? Yeah. Nope. Oh my god, ew, I'm so embarrassed. Oh my god, oh my god. Sorry. <gasps> oh my god, you're Miranda Sings. Yeah. Oh my god, I can't believe I talked about come in front of you. Can I have a picture? Yeah, sure, of course. Thank you. <laughs> Nice to meet you. You would think that this conversation ends here because that's already pretty awkward, but no, it doesn't end here. These girls were super nice. I loved them so much. They were so great to meet. Like, I genuinely thought they were so hilarious and so fun. I loved them. But I went in to go pee. <laughs> they did not stop the conversation. So I'm sitting on the toilet peeing with my pants around my ankles, continuing to have a conversation with these two girls. And basically, this is how it went. Oh my god, I can't believe Miranda Sings is in the bathroom with us. Oh my god, Miranda, are you still in here? 
Yes. Oh my God, I used to talk like you every single day. Here, listen. Hey guys, it's me, Miranda. Hey guys, it's me, Miranda. Today I am singing. See, I can do Miranda. It's a pretty good impression, right? Yup, that's really good. Yeah, I used to always talk like you. Oh my God, I can't believe I talked about cum in front of Miranda Sings. I literally said it smells like cum in front of Miranda Sings. This is so crazy. I can't believe Miranda Sings is in the bathroom. You're literally peeing right there. I can literally hear you peeing. Oh my God, oh my God. <clears throat> Colleen, where are you from? Yeah, I live pretty close to here. That's so cool. Oh my God. Hi guys, it's me, Miranda. Huh? <laughs> These girls, I don't think should never talk again. I actually just wanted to tell this story. This was so funny to me and they were so awesome and sweet and hilarious. And I like, it, it, it was just so funny. Like it was, it couldn't have been a better circumstance. Like that the girls that were saying that in the bathroom stall, like I literally was writing out a tweet about the conversation I had just heard through the bathroom stalls. And then they came out and recognized me. And so that was one of my favorite experiences I've ever had. It was so weird. <laughs> and so random and so funny so um but that was amazing and i wish situations like that happened to me every single day because it made me laugh anyway that's my video for you guys today i hope you liked it oh don't forget to get tickets to my tour it's a whole new tour i'm so excited about it and i'm going all over the place it's gonna be my last tour for a while so get tickets while they're still around and that's pretty much it love you guys i'll see you next time bye